Hi, today we're going to talk about your core, developing your core and your sense of self. You can look at your core as your third chakra, at the center of your identity, of your ego. Ego as in your personality, the specific things that are defining factors of your life experience and your preferences. And so it's interesting to observe that for most people, being themselves is something that they don't necessarily feel comfortable doing. That comes from the relationship with mom and dad, meaning that when we first develop in the first few years of our lives, if mom and dad are accepting and are a positive mirror, a constructive mirror to our life experiences, and they allow us to develop, to explore, to understand ourselves and to go through our own experiences, to get feedback from the world as to what feels good and, and what doesn't feel as good, then we get to develop a sense of self, a sense of having a, a core. And that core is independent from mom and dad, meaning that how we feel is not dependent on how mom or dad are feeling from moment to moment. And that's really important because if our feelings, our emotions, our physical sensations are inundated by our mothers and our fathers' feelings, emotions, and physical sensations and their experience of the world, then it's difficult for us to develop a sense of self and our, and our own core. So we see that in our relationships when we don't feel comfortable being ourselves, where we maybe doubt ourselves, our decisions, our choices, and we may fear being rejected or emotionally abandoned or criticized or punished, which is a reflection of our relationship with our mother and our father. And as we developed the feedback that they gave us, and how they perceived us and how they perceived the development of our personality and of our core as either in alignment with them or not in alignment with them and therefore subconsciously perceived as a threat or not as a threat to their own survival and to their own identity. So it's possible to transcend the influence of this system that was created in early infancy and in our developing years where our sense of self and our core depended on mom and dad and we didn't necessarily develop our own sense of self and personal core. And when we do that, then we can feel free and freer in our relationships and just experiencing life, feeling good about ourselves, trusting ourselves trusting that our decisions and our choices are in our highest and best good and that we learn from experience rather than judging ourselves or in any way doubting ourselves and our choices. And in a future video, I'll explain how we can start to create boundaries, healthy boundaries, so that we can actually develop our own core. So our relationships with our mother and father still exist throughout time, meaning that our child parts that didn't have boundaries with our mother and father, those child parts still exist and those are the child parts that are still experiencing themselves as not safe having a core, not safe having a different experience than other people and, and trusting ourselves and our choices. So when we go back in time through different processes and we establish healthy boundaries in this present moment in time and retroactively in our relationships, then we can experience ourselves right now feeling good, feeling great and developing our core and therefore making choices in our lives that are in alignment with what we want, with what our soul is guiding us towards and um, having more fulfillment, more success, uh, greater relationships, greater health, more energy, more motivation and so many other wonderful things that people want to have as an experience. I hope this is helpful and that you see the value and the benefit of developing your own sense of self, your core, not from an egotistical perspective, simply from the perspective of 
being able to have the most wondrous experience of life. My husband and I are life coaches, healers, artists, and spiritual teachers. And if you're looking for help with developing your core sense of self, feeling good about your decisions, trusting yourself, uh, we'd love to help. You can visit our website, dexteranalassandrina.com, and we wish you a most wonderful day or night.